For centuries, humanity has looked toward the stars, wondering if we are truly alone in this vast cosmos. That age-old question, is there life beyond Earth, has fueled both imagination and science. Now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, that question feels more real than ever. The JWST, the most advanced telescope ever launched, was designed to study distant galaxies in the early universe. But during one of its observational campaigns, it may have stumbled upon something unexpected, something that hints at the presence of intelligence far beyond Earth. A glow in the darkness the target was Proxima Centauri b, a rocky exoplanet orbiting the nearest star system to our own, just over 4.2 light years away. This planet lies in the habitable zone, where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist, a critical factor for life as we know it. What the JWST observed shocked astronomers, a steady, structured glow on the planet's dark side, the part permanently turned away from its star due to tidal locking. This light wasn't random or natural looking. It didn't flicker like volcanic eruptions, dance like auroras, or reflect like ice. Instead, it was uniform, consistent, and organized, eerily similar to the pattern of city lights seen on Earth from space. Could this be artificial lighting? Not a glitch, not a fluke initially, scientists suspected a technical error or a natural source they hadn't accounted for. But after multiple verifications, checks, and spectral analyzes, the glow remained unchanged. The telescope detected infrared emissions, the kind we associate with heat-efficient lighting or thermal output from buildings or machines. This led researchers to consider a bold possibility, a techno-signature. What are techno-signatures? In space science, a techno-signature is any sign that suggests the presence of technology, signals or patterns that can't be easily explained by natural causes. This includes things like radio transmissions, megastructures, pollution, or artificial light. The steady glow from Proxima b may be the strongest techno-signature candidate ever recorded. Stable heat, unnatural ratios adding to the mystery, the thermal readings from Proxima b's night side showed a remarkably stable temperature. On Earth, we see large differences between day and night heat. But this exoplanet's dark side was evenly warm, as if something were regulating the temperature, possibly through a system that moves energy from day to night, or through advanced climate control. Even more surprising were the atmospheric clues. Webb's instruments picked up traces of methane and carbon dioxide, in ratios that don't match geological sources like volcanoes. On Earth, this mix often points to biological activity. Here, it's stable, not wild and irregular, which makes it harder to explain with natural processes alone. Could this mean Proxima b has not only an atmosphere, but life? A civilization in the shadows? Some scientists now believe that if this glow is real, and artificial, it may come from a planet-wide energy system. Perhaps a civilization collects solar power from the day side and distributes it across the dark side. Maybe the lights are for farming, communication, or something else entirely, something beyond our imagination. What if the glow is not just practical, but symbolic? What if it's a signal, a silent beacon meant to be seen by others across the galaxy? A cosmic lighthouse whispering, we are here. The implication that this is real, we are not witnessing microbes. But caution is critical as thrilling as the glow on Proxima b may be. The path from observation to confirmation is paved with careful science, not speculation. While the possibility of detecting artificial illumination is electrifying, the scientific method demands more than wonder, it demands proof. The international astronomy community has now entered what could be a defining phase of cosmic investigation. Telescopes across the globe are being synchronized, scientists are reanalyzing every spectrum, every data spike, and every faint pulse of light with renewed urgency and rigor. Among the leading tools are the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile and the soon-to-be operational Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, a behemoth of observational science that will give us a sharper view of exoplanets than ever before. These instruments aren't just peering, they're decoding, using infrared imaging and high-resolution spectroscopy to distinguish between what is natural and what may be intelligently designed. 
Over the coming months and years, we will watch for patterns. Does the light pulse or dim in cycles? Is the warmth consistent across seasons? Are there trace elements in the atmosphere that suggest technology or even industrial byproducts? Every observation is a clue. Every anomaly is a whisper. And every confirmation brings us closer to the truth. Whether that truth confirms a biological miracle, a technological marvel, or a yet unknown natural phenomenon, it will fundamentally reshape what we believe about life in the cosmos. A turning point in human history, even if future studies conclude that the lights are natural, this event has already changed the rules of the game. For the first time, we are no longer hoping to detect alien life, we are capable of it. We've entered an era where astronomy and planetary science are converging with philosophy and astrobiology, turning speculation into exploration. Think of what this means. A planet just over four light years away may be exhibiting signs that challenge every model we've built around planetary science. That's our cosmic backyard, and if something potentially artificial exists that close, the implications ripple outward. Our Milky Way galaxy, home to over 100 billion stars and even more planets, could be teeming with intelligent civilizations, quiet, patient, and unknowingly waiting for us to reach the level of awareness and technology needed to notice. This moment in time, this observation, may mark the beginning of that awakening. This is bigger than aliens, yes, the idea of extraterrestrial intelligence captures the imagination. But this discovery is not just about them, it's about us. It challenges humanity to reconsider our story. Are we a lonely outpost in a cold, indifferent universe? Or are we one note in a vast cosmic symphony? It pushes us to reflect on what intelligence really means. Is it limited to earth-bound definitions of progress and culture? Or could life elsewhere have taken entirely different forms, different paths, shaped by alien suns and unfamiliar worlds? And if we are not alone, what responsibility does that place on us? How do we treat our planet, knowing it may be watched by others? How do we treat each other, knowing we are united not by borders, but by our shared position in the cosmos? This is not just a discovery about space. It's a discovery that holds a mirror to humanity. The universe just got a little less silent for thousands of years. We looked up at the stars and asked the same question. Is anyone else out there? Now, the silence seems to be breaking. Not with a shout, but with a gentle glow from a planet far away. A steady light shining in the darkness, suggesting that we may not be as alone as we once thought. And what if that glow is intentional? What if it's a message, not in words or radio pulses, but in visibility itself? A beacon, not of dominance, but of existence?